Hello, I'm George Leeds. I'm the president and CEO of Cosmetic World and Beauty Fashion. Um, we also are beautyfashionfragrance.com and you can follow me on the DL with GL. I'm here today with Akam Dow. He is the president of Global Scent and Care for Simrise, and he is the keynote speaker at this year's World Perfumery Congress in Miami, June 12th, 13th, and 14th. Uh, Akam, thank you for your time. Uh, I understand this year you will be the keynote uh, speaker at the World Perfumery Congress. And I just want to ask you, can you give us a few bon mots, a few trailers of what you're going to be speaking about at the conference? Oh, absolutely. Thank you, George. With pleasure. Um, at the World Perfumery Congress, jointly with uh, Mr. Roberto Lima, who is the CEO of the Brazilian beauty company Natura, I will share my thoughts of how a meaningful connection between nature, science, and communities in the fragrance and beauty industry can create value for a broad range of constituents. I will share some powerful examples of work we're doing both in Madagascar and in partnership with Natura also in the Amazon region of Brazil. Our ambition there is to harvest the rich biodiversity of these regions in a sustainable way for the benefit of the world's beauty consumers as well as for the local communities we're working with in cultivating, harvesting, and extracting these precious materials. And this all is part of our backwards integration strategy, which we call from source to scent, covering the natural segment. And if you couple this with our 220-year-old heritage in perfumery, and our unique way of collaboration across fragrances and cosmetics ingredients, you come to the core pillar of the unique positioning of Simrise in the fragrance industry. We exist to deliver better living through scent. And that describes our ambition to enable everyone to benefit from the work we're doing in creating beautiful fragrances and fragrance ingredients that obviously includes our customers and the consumers of their brands and products. It includes our employees and shareholders. But importantly, better living through scent also means in, in improving the living conditions, income, health, and education of the local partners we're working with along the supply chain. Can you give me some examples? In Madagascar, for instance, we are working with 6,000 farmers having a direct impact on about 34,000 people's lives by helping them cultivate, harvest and extract precious raw materials, initially for our flavors division and now increasingly also for our fragrance division in producing natural and sustainable fragrance raw materials, like for instance vetiver like for instance uh, cinnamon bark oil, like for instance red pepper oil, just to name a few. So this is what your clients are asking for and this is what in turn the consumer is asking for. Uh, you see this trend growing for the next phase of the industry. I personally believe that backwards integration is a prerequisite for lasting and sustainable success in the fragrance industry because it enables us to embrace and offer solutions for the three key major trends which are impacting the fragrance industry going forward. And what are these? It's transparency, it's traceability, and it's sustainability. And this is across all, of all the industries that you serve. That, if you think about it, Almost every product which comes out of a factory, of, out of a Simrise factory around the world, will end up either on your skin, 
or in the digestive system of the user, the consumer of the final end product. And from a similar standpoint, based on our broad portfolio, this can be a human, it can be a dog, it can be a cat. But this puts a very high burden of proof in terms of your commitment to product safety and product stewardship. And we believe that a significant degree of backwards integration, which basically translates into controlling your own supply chain, puts you in a much stronger position to deliver against those objectives. So backwards integration really is the uh, key phrase going forward. It is. And here I come back to Pinova Renaissance, the acquisition which we announced and closed uh, in, the, in the beginning of this year, on the 7th of January 2016. Why did we buy this company? But on the surface, with this acquisition, Simrise became um, the, the world's largest producer of fragrance raw materials and has now, uh, on its offering, the broadest portfolio of fragrance ingredients of any major competitor. But the main reason for this acquisition is that it enables us to close a previously existing gap in terms of backwards integration in our fragrance raw material portfolios, namely the family of renewables. And if you think about fragrance raw materials, the sources where they come from, they're really only three. There's synthetics, which are made petrochemistry based materials, and this is Simrai's original DNA being a chemistry company. It's naturals, and that's everything I've talked about in terms of Madagascar, in terms of Amazon, in terms of working with local communities and extracting and harvesting the rich biodiversity of the materials on offer there. And then it's renewables. And what are these renewables? These renewables are materials, fragrance ingredients, fragrance materials made from waste streams of the paper production process and from woodstuffs. I see. So it's almost back to the future, nothing is, um, nothing is wasted. And that is exactly our philosophy, not only in terms of the backwards integration in renewables, but also with our traditional synthetics portfolio, the chemistry portfolio, where we have been over time transforming our traditional chemistry to what we call green chemistry. And the principles of green chemistry are very simple. Zero waste, minimization of emissions like CO2 emissions, wastewater, and so forth. And we have, as a market leader, for instance, in synthetic mental, the, the most um, efficient production process for this key product with zero waste in the entire supply chain. And that, I think, is a prime example of what is possible when you talk about green chemistry. Uh, do you want to give me a vision of what you see uh, around the corner on the, on the next initiative for Simrise? Our ambition is nothing less than to, to continue to set the standard and the pace for the global fragrance and flavors industry. And we have been doing this over the last 10 years. Over the last 10 years we have advanced to become the number two global flavor and fragrance house in the industry. But more than that, we also have created a blueprint for the industry many companies are following today. For example, 10 years ago, we created what we call Scent and Care, my universe, if you will, through a combination of our fragrance and cosmetic ingredients capabilities in forming one powerful business segment which we call Scent and Care. The aha moment really was the realization that no one needs a number four player in the industry. And when Simrise was created, that's where we were. We were the number four in the industry with a significant distance to, you know, the big three guys. And, you know, I still remember we're sitting together, uh, you know, in one of our board meetings and we used the brown cow, purple cow example. Right? And we saw those big three brown cows and we were very clear to us uh, that we, no one needs a fourth brown cow which is even smaller than the big three guys. So the question for us was how do you create the purple cow in the flavor and fragrance industry? What does this entail? How does it look like? What are the benefits and what are the risks? And luckily we had different competencies already in the company which were organized if, in a different way. They were isolated divisions, isolated silos, everyone doing their thing. And, and so it was a natural 
you know, instinct to say, what if we combine fragrances and cosmetics to create something new and different, which enables us to bring new capabilities to the market, innovations, new, um, sorry, opens new in um, avenues for innovation, which um, delivers novel solutions and inspires our customers. And so that's where we started. And we started to put, it, to put together scented care, uh, fragrance and cosmetics. And of course, it was not easy. You, you take two organizations which were used to work in isolations and now they try to make them work together. And it took us a while to do it. But today we have created the blueprint for this industry. Today we have what we call Beauty Plus, holistic solutions which starts from understanding consumer and consumer needs, translating those into concepts um, and testing those concepts. And then on these concepts develop products, holistic products, which start ground up, functional ingredients, active ingredients, and fragrances and we can test those. And that is a unique capability in the market which now many other companies are trying to replicate. And so this will keep us on our toes to continue to innovate and say, so how does the purple cow, now that everyone turns purple, right, how does the new brown look like? Right? I and, so, and, and, and that's where we're going. And today, this is the model, this is the blueprint for the industry and everyone is following it. So our ambition going forward is to continue to set the pace in the industry. And if you look at our portfolio today, and I referenced it before, we have the most innovative and the most complete portfolio in the flavors and fragrance industry. We go way beyond the typical capabilities of a flavor and fragrance company. We have cosmetic actives, probiotics, consumer health pet food, baby food, even aqua farming. We have our own fish farms, right? And where I get truly excited is if I think about the sheer limitless possibilities which arise out of the combination and the intelligent networking of these different divisions. For example, fragrance and probiotics in terms of active fragrances. For example, cosmetic ingredients and pet care for an entirely new market segment. And that is the way we like to think about this industry, pushing the boundaries, moving it forward, creating an innovative and complete portfolio of capabilities and competencies, and then through the intelligent networking of those, create incremental value for our customers and offer novel solutions. Well, I, for one, cannot look forward fast enough to your keynote speech, and uh, I look forward to listening as well as, I'm sure, the entire beauty industry. Thank you for your time. Thank you, George, and please uh, be invited to not only listen to the keynote speech uh, on Monday, uh, in, uh, on the 12th of June, I believe, come and visit us on the Simrise booth where you will first hand be able to experience the precious raw materials I was talking about from the Madagascar and Amazon. You will be able to explore novel fragrance ingredients out of our synthetic and renewable uh, portfolio. And you will be able to dive into our 220 years of rich history and heritage in the world of perfumery by being one of the first to experience the revival of the classic de l'air bases, which are at the core foundation of classic perfumery as we know it today. Fantastic. And just to really raise the bar, when I get there, when I get that presentation, what perception do you want me to walk away from the Simrise booth with? Simple speaking, you will go away recognizing that we, Simrise, are true leaders and passionate entrepreneurs which are shaping tomorrow's industry today. Thank you again. Thank you. Great talking to you. Likewise.